Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with an update on my Beretta 1301 tactical shotgun in flat dark earth. So you guys were wanting to see the finished product uh, when I added the Nordic Components magazine extension and the Mesa Tactical pistol grip. Now, I installed both of these off of camera. Uh, you guys are probably going to ask why. I should have shown it on camera. I know a lot of people like those. I did film it and I tried to upload it. And for some reason, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like people exchanging parts on shotguns. So I can't show it even though I'm not modifying the gun to fire any different way with the addition of this stock. For some reason, the algorithm catches it and uh, it is, while it would be allowed, it would have limited, I guess it becomes age restricted or something. But anyway, as long as I don't show it, we're good to go. I can show you the end product though. But this is, as I said, the Beretta 1301 Tactical in Flat Dark Earth. Um, so the only thing I've really changed on it is the Nordic Components um, magazine extension. And I really think that this thing looks absolutely fantastic on this. I'm going to try to get this here on the camera. Let me get, get the other side. And this kind of seems to be the industry standard when it comes to the Beretta shotguns, um, is this particular extension. Now, I know there's nothing you can really do about this, but I think the design flaw of this, while this thing is extremely sturdy, you have to disassemble the whole thing, like these rails and the uh, quick detach for the uh, sling, uh, if you want to remove the barrel because you gotta of course unscrew uh, this to get the pressure off of the handguard so you can pull the whole barrel assembly out. So if you shoot this a lot, you end up having to do a lot of work uh, disassembling this, maybe a little bit more than I would like. But as I said, this thing is very sturdy and uh, I'm really happy with the way it looks as well. I think that's just kind of the main downside. It also came with an extremely long magazine spring, which you're supposed to cut down and they have instructions. They say anywhere between 12 to 16 inches beyond the end of the gun. I did that, easy snip, and uh, just compressed the spring, got it in there, it's working great. I have test loaded it to seven rounds. So that looks uh, great. And then of course I added the Mesa Tactical pistol grip uh, stock. To this gun and this would be the exact same grip and stock that would come on the LE version of this gun. So Beretta does not have a proprietary stock system like Benelli does. Now just looking at this it does look like a Benelli system. Uh, I believe that's probably their main inspiration. I do know that they make the stock for a number of different shotguns and when I was uh, modifying my Benelli's I had looked at one of these stocks for, I think it was the uh, M4. And the reason I didn't get it is that I was concerned about the quality. I was like, well, why would I want an aftermarket one when I can get or just keep the stock Benelli one? You know, I did like the idea of the cheek riser because it does look kind of cool. I have it in the lowest position right now. But I did like the look of it. I was like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll change it out on my Benelli. And I opted against it because I was scared of the quality. Because you know, sometimes you get those aftermarket parts and you go, eh, they're just not as good as the factory OEM stuff. But I gotta say, actually getting some hands-on time with this stock, I'm extremely impressed. The polymer is very strong and very rigid. It doesn't have any play whatsoever. Um, the fit and finish of this gun is uh, fantastic. I can't the fit and finish of the gun, the fit and finish of the stock. It matches the gun perfectly. Um, it has a number of sling attachments. You can have, uh, I have here, it's not really a QD, but it's like a little ring. They also have a slot and they have a plate that doesn't have one at all. You got the Benelli style sling loops here in the back. Installation was a breeze. I will say though that uh, they don't give instructions or the version that I got, which I bought from Botac Tactical in, I think it's uh, Las Vegas. Um, it didn't come with the original box. The ones I saw online had a box. This one didn't have anything. So I kind of had to figure it out. I had to download the PDF because it comes with a lot of installation hardware depending on how you want to set this up and specifically which shotgun you have. So I wanted to make sure I did it right. I downloaded their uh, PDF instructions. It was, it was kind of easy. Something I do like about this uh, stock though is the butt plate does come off relatively easy. Normally you have to take a screwdriver and go through the uh, butt plate and unscrew uh, the stock screws. However, on this, there's a little latch right here, and hopefully I can do this on camera. 
you push in on this. It is kind of tight, but you should be able to get out. There it goes. The back butt pad. And that gets you internally into all of the mounting of the stock. And that's really nice because I really am not a huge fan of having to take those screwdrivers and go through those nice butt pads. Even though there is a little hole for them, you can kind of ruin them a little bit. And once you do that, it, to me, it kind of ruins it. And of course, that's coming from a completely OCD guy. But I really, really like this system a lot. And just snaps back in, and it's very secure. And this limb saver butt pad, I guess they call it, you know, it says limb saver, seems to be really high quality as well. I'm not really sure on the torque specifications either. I tightened it pretty darn tight. My a main concern was I don't want the stock to move or to rotate when I'm shooting, which is some of the complaints people had. And they said they either didn't use Loctite or didn't tighten it down enough. So I was pretty tight with it. Um, but the whole stock being this polymer, I was kind of nervous. It has some metal hardware in the back to help, but I don't know. I like to be pretty secure when it comes to the torque specifications. I was not able to find that in any of their instructions. So it's on there really tight, but I'm not having any issues. So hopefully I didn't damage anything. So anyway, so there you go. That's kind of an update on the Beretta 1301 Tactical. I'll, oh, one other thing. I mentioned in my unboxing video that I thought that the choke system was also compatible with the Benelli's because they're pretty much sister companies. In fact, um, Beretta owns Benelli and it looks almost the same. Well, I tried to install the Silencer Co. choke for the Salvo 12 on this and it does not fit. So I'm going to have to see if they offer a particular choke for the Beretta. I'm sure that they do, but, the, but those two choke systems are not compatible, even though they look very, very similar. So there you go. So I think this is a really, really cool tactical shotgun. I love pistol grip shotguns. I know some people prefer the more traditional stocks. I totally get it. I understand how that affects the recoil, but uh, I love the look of this. And I think this being such a lightweight shotgun, which I gotta say, I have not shot it yet. Everyone says it kicks like a mule because of its weight. A lot of polymer, a lot of aluminum on this thing. Um, I definitely think that adding the Salvo 12 is really, really, really gonna help uh, with that. But at the uh, pistol grip uh, stock and the limb saver, I think is also gonna be very beneficial to this. So there you go. So anyway, so there's the update on my Beretta 1301 Tactical. I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. So I think this, after I get it, get it to the range and kind of function test it, this might become my home defense shotgun. Right now, it's a uh, Mossberg 590A1, but I've always wanted a semi-automatic shotgun as my home defense shotgun. Um, and I don't like to use the Benelli's that often because they're really, really nice and high-end collectibles. So uh, I think this is what the role that this one's gonna fit, so there you go. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, if you guys have any uh, experience with the Mesa Tactical Equipment or the Nordic Components uh, Magazine ex Extension. I'm really happy with both of these, so there you go. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.